A clear sky greets us tonight, before one of the more darker nights, ironically. Battle lines have been drawn, the dust bandits demanding a bounty, their protection rackets, another group, the black dragon ninjas, standing ready to come at us as well. It's going to be a violent night, but we're ready for it. Hello everyone, welcome back to more Kenshi. We have a fight waiting for us, and it's going to be a good one. We've got ourselves this fancy war leader. His bare chest, pretending he's something. All in all, it's like, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen 14 dust bandits, that's respectable. They have a lot of bows. I count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna get a lot of ammunition, assuming we survive. And then over here we've got the um, the Black Dragon Ninjas. They're on their way as well. So we're gonna have to deal with these guys first, and I think we'll open up with our. Uh, of ranges, I've pulled them back over here. I've locked the door, closed it, and set the home to private, just to make sure that these guys are going to stay up here. Now, it's hardly ideal, but they will have the higher ground. So, you know, we've practically won the fight already, if we're going by Star Wars logic. We have the high ground. I tell you to target all. There we go. And that is going to set this party off. Already some hits are being landed, which is good. There we go, look at that. Right in the arm, beautiful. And now our mass combat ensues. I've taken up a ninja blade for once, instead of um, going with the usual saber. I want to train my dexterity a little bit. And attacking with a light weapon is the way to go. Let's just have a quick look here. Doing some good jobs blocking. Now, of course, I'm not using my saber, which has a lot of buffs to blocking, so... That's gonna make it significantly easier to train my me my melee defense, because I don't have a huge bonus. It'll effectively have my defense acting lower, and therefore it's easier to train. I've also told Dr. Chung to have a permanent job medic. He's looking a lot healthier, after his uh, starvation. It's your last chance. Well, my friend, I think this is going to be your last chance. Do me a favor, guys. Hit him with all the arrows. Make him into a porcupine. Uh, Hobbs is taking some unfortunate friendly fire. Just to just a couple, just a couple. On the positive side, you know, we're not using the powerful bows for a reason. There we go. Bandit demands against hope has been defeated. Hurrah. We are victorious. Doc Chung's having a good time running around and medicking people. I'm not going to tell him to have the job rescue if I can... There we go. Beeps are on the ground. There we go, find and rescue, find and put in bed. After he's done medicing people up, he's gonna put them in bed, if they're unconscious. So Beep should now get carried over to the bed. Or at least as soon as he's done getting food and medicing people and all that. Because we did take a couple of injuries there, not gonna lie. We did take some knocks. Uh, I don't have a med kit, must have been because I had mine in the backpack and I dropped that. There we go, let's get medicking. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. And now Beep's being carried off to the beds by Dr. Chung. Lovely. He's gonna be fine. And he's going to lie down himself. He took an unfortunate knock while running inside the combat. 
But, we have looting rights now. And you can bet we're gonna get us some ammunition. You don't have any, that's fine. You don't have any. We'll grab all this stuff and we'll sell it. Assuming we can do so before the, uh, the black dragons arrive. We've got a prototype bow, that's pretty crappy. You've gotten some ammo out of it. Let's get uh, Ravo. Now it's your turn. So we're going to go through ammo pretty rapidly here. Oh, are we stealing? Well, I'm terribly sorry. I'm just going to shoot you with this bow. There we go. Get him. Get him. Oh, very nice. He is becoming a nice porcupine right there. Thank you. So we hit him in the head once, I think. And because it's got the harpoon resistance of 35, it actually did no damage. You've got some decent gear, buddy. Not bad. There we go. There's your ammo refill. We'll take the standard junk bow, even though we've got, you know, the specialist toothpick. Uh, Ravo. Yeah, you need some more ammo. If we can still find it. Uh, we're going to continue looting, and then uh, we'll prepare for the next raid that's going to come soon, I think. They're still hanging out over there. But they'll be here sooner rather than later. It's not going to be pretty. Not for them or for us. Divine blessings to you, brothers. Prayer day has arrived. Don't mind Silver Shade, he's in a bit of trouble. Let's go say hello to our friends. Uh, our, our other friends are having a bad time. Some of them are playing dead, some of them are dead. Or pretty close to it at this point. Today's a glorious day! Is it now? Oh, it's a holy priest! Let's see what else he has to say. Uh, there's that bone dog chasing Silver Shade. Uh, it turns out from the reading I've done, the lost drones need to wander inside the limits of your, like, outpost before they'll actually have a chance of being recruited, which is a shame. But we'll see if we can, like, influence that a bit. Even better that it is prayer day! Blessings upon you, brother! It is with great sadness that I see you do not have the good fortune of living within easy distance of one of our pious churches! And so I have come to give prayers with you here, my beloved brother. Now take out your holy flame and press it to your heart. I don't have the holy flame. You are new. It is forgiven. But be warned, it is a crime to be without it. We got a free book out of it. God. Jehovah's Witnesses, I tell you. Here, take this. Carry it with you at all times. Never be without it. Now, hold on to my hand. I'll take his hand. And repeat after me. O Okran, Lord of Lights. O oh, Okran, Lord of Light, let thine flame burneth bright, with his most, uh, yeah, with his blessed body most pure. Let us not be tempted by the shadow's lure. Let us not yearn for fleshly pleasure, but only yearn for love from the Creator. I like the increasingly sarcastic options that are, oh god, please kill me, oh, I'd be so satisfying to slap him. Let us honor our sacred brothers. Let us abstain from intoxication. <laughs> yeah, all right. For darkness preys on the idle mind. Let us pray for the well-being of all mankind. In faith. <laughs> Slap him. It's, it's tempting, but no. Until next prayer day, brother. It has been my pleasure. Blessings to you. All right, well. Got a free book out of it. I'll keep it around, just so that we don't get, like, into trouble with them. But, yeah. Hello. What? Oh yeah, I reverted back to the, uh, the saber after a little fight. That's fine. Lunch! Yay! I wonder, is there a thing we can do? 
Uh, beep. Foraging animals! Ooh. That is a job you can assign, but unfortunately, Meep's inventory is kind of full. Uh, Dr. Chung, do you have any inventory space? You do not, right. We just looted all of these people. I haven't actually sold it yet. So that's interesting. I like... I want to see how efficient that is. Beep, you should not be going to bed. You have a job to do, Beep. Alright, Beep. Forage the animal. Please. You're not foraging the animal, Beep. I'm disappointed, Beep. Oh well. Uh, it's gonna wake up soon, we'll smack it about a little bit more. When it does... Beep's off to bed. Let's write with someone else. We're gonna... At any point... Forage it? No, okay, well... Screw that then. Ignore your job. He's gonna pluck it. I don't want it to wake up. Get the teeth, because it's a nice weight exercise. Seriously. And maybe we're just that little bit crazy that we like to hang on to the teeth of our fallen enemies. Could be either, really. Anyway, we're going to go and build ourselves a well here. So that we can start working on the well and start up building like a little reserve of water. Because Miyu has gone shopping and has brought back 20 green fruit. And it's currently carrying basically all our uh, our blueprints. So we'll build the well first. It's going to take like five building materials. We've got those. If we look at Tush over here, we've got four. And then we've got four in the thing. So that's going to be great. You should go and get those. Once we've built the well. And everything's going to go swimmingly. I've got an idea. If I take you out of that and you out of that. Can I somehow squeeze it so that we can fit in the building material in the backpack? No. That's a shame. Yeah, it turns out our mule's kind of full. Let's just... Ditch some other drugs which we still haven't managed to sell. Annoyingly. Uh, we'll transfer some of you. And then we'll just drop these. Because really, that's a lot easier. And now we have a lot more space, suddenly. Unfortunately, because the teeth are one size, they like to be annoying. Animal skin, animal skin. There we go. Put that back where it belongs. Now we're gonna go to the stone processor final bit and start engineering everyone here can care about their jobs again yes yes darkened ones indeed uh, we'll leave scabbard inside because they don't they still don't like skeletons around here uh, we're gonna have to talk to them again god I hate them so annoying We've already been over this like three times. I need them for Okran and things. But yes, Okran. Send me your leader. We're a bit busy, sir. Trying to build a well. There we go. It's a good well, Brent. Fine, stop being rude. Enough time to wait around. And holy beasts are not welcome on our domain. You know what we're going to try this route? The ho we serve the Holy Lord Phoenix. This is my servant. May the Holy Flame guide you to truth and sanctity. I will take no more of your time, brother. Huh. Turns out keeping a stupid book around is pretty useful at times. Right, Miu's gonna operate the well because she already has like a laboring of 30. 
and nothing else to do at the moment. Although pretty soon we'll start engineering ourselves to farms. So you know what, we can actually do that right now. Way to do that is go to farming, get yourself a veggie farm. And we could rotate it. That's one, and that's two. Beautiful. Now we're going to put in the 20 green fruit, and then we'll have ourselves a farm. It is that easy. Now everyone's like, oh my god, there's a green fruit in there. Unfortunately, she's only put one green fruit in. She's got all 20 of them. But no, let's only put one in. And three. Even better. <laughs> That's like the biggest gripe I have with the engineering AI right now. Is that nobody puts the damn materials in immediately. Oh, see, there you go. It didn't take long. And now we've got a farm. Needs input water, puts out green fruit. It's going to take a while to grow. We can upgrade it. Will require more green fruit. If you have green fruit in the output, it'll automatically like, take in the output stuff. We've got our first farm operational. And the second one is soon to follow. There we go. We finally put in all the things. See, it's a lot more faster when you do that. You silly person. Now you're going to need workers. No workers required until the crop is ready to harvest. Um, Beep can work that one. We'll take away the foraging animals bit. Uh, Ravo can work that one. And assuming that Miu is going to produce water here, which she will in a moment. One of them should, in theory, go collect that and bring it to the farms. The theory is fickle. It doesn't always work the way we like it to. Although, to be fair, they just don't have the inventory space for it right now. If we were to do this, suddenly Beep wakes up. And our farm is now working. It's going to take a while. Bird's working. Very slowly. We're going to go and sell some dust bandit stuff now. And then we'll be back. I haven't really heard anything from the... Uh... Yeah. Oh dear, prayer day is a regular thing. God help us. <laughs> yeah, Black Dragon Ninja's... Must have gotten lost along the way. I'll have a look at that later. But first, farming. Isn't it nice when your neighbors come to visit? And then they start complaining about your unholy beasts. And they, at some point, have enough of your excuse. That they already serve Okran onto you. What basically happened is this guy showed up. He's a high paladin. He's got stats in the 60s. <laughs> We're getting our butt kicked by him. He, uh... He wanted to take away my non-humans in the party. And, well, I'm not having that. But we're not hitting him. That's the problem. If we just take a look, like, we're getting some decent stats from him. But at the same time, we're getting completely murdered by him. I don't think that's a good trade-off to have, really. His defense is in the 60s, for crying out loud. Oh, come on, Daisy, you need to get in here. Oh, his friends are showing up as well. Thankfully, this guy's at least crippled and not a, a god. He's just, you know, a demigod. It's even more annoying when we land a hit on this guy and he completely ignores it. Oh, there we go. We got some in on him. God damn. These guys are rough. I don't like them anymore. I never liked them, let's be honest. We'll get the crossbows to take this guy out, hopefully. Because that's the one thing they really can't defend against. Getting sniped from range. And, well, I think we'll just have to make this guy disappear. And his friend. 
We'll lock them inside the building as they slowly die. I don't know. See, this guy's getting the crap kicked out of him like a good little paladin. But yeah, we're we're people are going down over there. It's good for the stats at least, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, we're barely doing any damage because his armor is decent quality. And it's going to have harpoon resistance. That's a problem. Poor Beep's just getting beat up. He's getting decent melee defense because of it. Oof. Can we just put this guy down already? Uh, By that, I didn't mean me. Right, you guys need to close in now. Did we get him? Nope, he's still up. All of our people are down, but he's still standing. There we go, we've got the firing line now. They're hardly doing any damage, but they're, you know, good experience at least. Also, precision shooting is a thing. Just look at the porcupine he's becoming, look at that. It's ridiculous. Oh, there we go, he's finally down. Cool. Chung. He's got, yeah, decent gear. 35 points harpoon resistance on pretty much everything. 11 on the shirt. High grade boots. Now, I'd, I'd love to steal his armor, but that's going to mean we have a faction uniform. Also, people are going to ask questions when we sell that to the Holy Nation. Which is not what you want. Quick injury check on people. I don't think we lost any limbs, but it's definitely not looking pretty. Bravo, why are you still in combat? Oh, is that the dog? Yeah, there was a dog. Actually, is that a river raptor? It is. That's a river raptor. He's going after the corpses that died here. And the people. More accurately. Anyway, Doc Chung's gonna do his Doc Chung thing. Uh, we did take an awful lot of friendly fire again. Bard's precision shooting is getting through the roof. He's getting pretty good at it now, thankfully. Uh, you're at 42, you're at 32. Honestly though, perception and dexterity slowly getting higher. It's helping. But now we need to disarm this, uh, this boy. I had you pick up a plank a while ago, and... Oh, we don't really need it, do we? Let's just chuck it on the ground. He's too stupid to pick it up. Now Mr. Porcupine here. He's gonna run around like a silly goose. And not really do anything about it. Should probably do the same for this other guy. That's mine now. Yeah, see, he doesn't have great armor. That's why we're able to overpower him easily enough. Please go medic yourself up. Well, you're not bad at it, I guess. Oh yeah, Doc Chung has a lot of interesting, unique dialogue with people. He's actually made Tasha talk once, off camera. Which is, uh, well that's an experience. Now I don't know what they're gonna do next. You're still considered an enemy, technically. We could just snipe him with green. You know what, let's try that. Green. Get up here. You've got the best weapon. Oh, he's down, never mind. He's down. Cool. I'm gonna temporarily close the door here. And lock it. Hopefully that'll prevent people from going inside. Uh... I'd like your weapon. And then chuck it. Now you're helpless. Haha! <laughs> it's a strategy. Dust bandit over here is being eaten. I really don't mind that. What I do mind is the fact that there is a bone dog here. And he's attacking my beep. Thankfully, Doc Chun immediately running in, braving danger. Yoink. That's that. Uh, no, you're, you're, you're going inside now, Green. I need you to keep an eye open so that we can, like, murder these people with bows. 
because it's helpful. What if I turn off your jobs? Does that help? Yes, it does. Beautiful. Alright, firing squad is assembled. Open the door so that people can go to bed if they so choose to. To be honest, a lot of them will. Tasha, looking better. You're gonna wake up in 30, that's fine. You're playing dead. I know how to provoke that. Dr. Chung, I have a moment of your time. Oh, he, he just let me have the kit, okay. There, that's more like it. If all of you would do me a favor, please, and shoot the man. Oh, he's a lot less happy now, is he? There we go, that's why I like the toothpick and the junk bow. Because they can pow, pow, pow all day long. Did we really heal him? I hope we didn't heal him, but, like, probably one of his servants that did it. Annoying, but oh well. We didn't even damage him a lot, but hey, I'll take it. Good practice. Good practice indeed. What else to do with him? I don't know, really. We can chuck him somewhere. Beep, are you alright? Yeah, you're, you'll be fine. I do like how you can just automate jobs and people will start doing things on their own. And eventually, like, your whole colony will take on a life of its own. If you do things correctly. It's just gonna... It's gonna impact faction relations with them, just a bit. Quote-unquote, unprovoked attacks. Very much provoked. You don't get to take my people. I'll take your people. I told Scabbard to go back to mining, but he's not really... Well, he's trying, bless him. So yeah, we'll keep an eye open on the, uh, the high pallet in here. He was resisting arrest for a while. Oh, you're playing dead again, are you? Fine. We're gonna have some fun with him. Oh, his, his friend just stood up. His friend just stood up. Let's get him, guys. Tasha, no. Guys, it's fine. Honest. Really, it's fine. We've got this. We can just stun lock him with the arrows now. Trust me. I could just tell him to hold position. There we go. Getting pretty accurate. Unfortunately, the damage is crap. But, there he goes. Beautiful. A bit cheesy, perhaps, but honestly, he keeps, he keeps getting up. He keeps trying to attack us. Not my problem. Yeah, crossbow 37, take that. Perception 29, dexterity 18 on Bard. He's getting pretty good at ranging. You know, he's, he's not green, but green's got more crossbow skill. Bard's got the perception edge. For now, anyway. Until we, uh... You know, get some more experience. After a hard day of work, there's nothing more rewarding than for the workers to go back to work to do even more hard working. We're actually harvesting our first green fruit now. It's about that time. We had 20 plants, and I've we can fit four people on the farm, so I've redone the jobs. Four people will be assigned to farming these two farms. And, uh, yeah. It's going pretty well. They've got their little torches so that they should be able to see to a reasonable degree. Lanterns are helping. And now that they've filled up the farm with stuff, they can take it to the storage for green, uh, green fruit, which I built over here. Meanwhile, Dr. Chung... Has a bunch of blueprints, we'll go over those in a moment. And he is currently working away on platforms, followed by corpse disposal. Because there's going to be a lot of corpses here when we continue fighting, you know, dust bandits and the like. Being able to burn the bodies, 
It's going to be pretty helpful. After that, well, we've got a lot of, a lot of books. We can start researching all the things. For example, I want proper beds for faster healing. Uh, defense, we could go for our first actual turrets. We can get mounts of crossbows. Or, you know, better walls, which is probably a good idea. Because we can then actually fit the, uh, the crossbows on the walls. Uh, we'll need wind generators. So that we can actually generate some power here for cooking and the like. We're not going to research any other farming stuff for now. Although, baking is going to be important at some point. So that we can actually, you know, make proper bread. I already bought some flour a while back, so we can make some initial bread. Which will, you know, help with food. Iron plates too. I think that gets us a better iron refinery. That either needs less labor or has higher efficiency. One of the two. Eventually you'll work towards like automated stuff. So you just need to haul it back and forth. Powered stone refinery. Less workers who will need power. Storage boxes for crafting. You know, be able to store leather, armor plate, other things. Improved stone mining. Upgraded wells. All, all good stuff. What I would like to get is leather armor crafting. So that we can start making those leather turtlenecks. That we got the blueprint for ages ago. As well as other things. And training. I'm gonna want, like... Better training dummies, I think. But, you know, that's that's a lot of research to stack up. And we're currently researching at 0.58 because it's night. So, you know, we'll, we'll get better once it becomes day. Now, blueprints. We bought fences from that little village over there. Boom. We can now build fences. As well as basic furniture. Bar benches, stools, sitting boxes, tables and stuff. We'll take some of that. I bought a blueprint for holy lighting so that we can look like the holy nation if we so choose. We are in their territory after all. But we can't research that yet because we haven't researched indoor lighting or basic exterior lighting yet. Anyway, containers. Sure, I'll do some of that. Broken holy lights. Mm-hmm. Why not? Market tents and stalls because it looks pretty. Boom. Concrete walls. Not sure if these are better or worse, but more walls, more options. Leather hive vest. Probably going to be crafted at the uh, the leather bench as well. That's going to be for our hive people so that they get better protection. Costs a lot back in the day, you know, 6,700 cats. But it's good. Banners and signs. You can put those on the outside of your buildings. Very pretty. Roof decorations, why the hell not? Skeleton bar sign, and finally, an emperor statue. To appease the holy dogs that constantly come towards our outpost. Speaking of our outpost, we've got a bit of a problem. We're on the receiving end of a holy nation assault in 13 hours. Because they noticed that we have a skeleton here. At least I think that's why it is. Because they wouldn't just attack, you know... A uh, hiver, I think. So Scabbard's been causing us a bit of trouble. And it's not going to get any better. So we're going to have to try and deal with that. To which end, I am going to... See, me... What? Yeah, your backpack is ready to go, which is good. I think I'm going to take this backpack. And I'll give it to me. I did get a new helmet, by the way. It's a masked helmet. It's got slightly worse resistance than the spiked helmet, but it's got better coverage. But we're going to take your backpack, and I'm going to run to the nearest city. I think that might be Bad Teeth. Relations with them are down because of some unfortunate attack incidents. Uh, Miu still carries, by the way, a lot of wanted posters about people. And a little book, a, a guide to where you can find all the pacifiers to increase relations with the major factions. So there's like a, a good list, actually, there. It's like one... That's like eight of them. That's only for like the major, major factions, I believe. But still, useful to have, so we'll keep that around.
But uh, yeah, we're gonna let these people. You know, this farm is harvested. There's another farm over here. That's gonna let three quarters. I'll let them tend to that, and I'm gonna bloody leg it. I'm tempted to go to Blister Hill, or you know, we'll go to Stack. They know me there. Should be able to find some mercenaries there, I hope. And um, we'll continue researching. We'll put down a corpse furnace. I think it generates power. So we'll see. Actually, come to think of that, could we potentially store that in batteries? We do not know about batteries yet. That's fine. Might be a third level tech. Interestingly enough, we could potentially turn green fruit into biofuel for an actual generator, but we'll, we'll not worry about that. I'm going to go and get some help now. We're going to need it. Those paladins are tough. While out checking the bars in stack, I actually found the thief fence here had a good deal. He's got assassin's rags on him. High grade as well. They give a bonus to stealth, a bonus to crossbow skill, a bonus to dodge, a bonus to combat speed, dexterity, 1.2, assassination skill, 1.3, melee attack bonus of plus 8, melee defense bonus of minus 4, M martial arts bonus of plus 6, it's got 100% coverage on the right arm. It's got 25% coverage on the chest and the head and 50% on the stomach. But the most interesting thing about the thief fence carrying this is it's 50% off. I'm going to take that because that is sexy. Extra dexterity, extra combat speed, extra dodge, extra crossbow, extra stealth. I like this. Even if it only like, protects your right arm, which is like the one arm you need. Because the game assumes everyone's right-handed. Now granted, it's it's not nearly got the coverage that the Drifter's Leather Jacket has. You know, it's it's got slight it's got decent cut resistance, but the efficiency is not great. But as a light armor class, you're not gonna have great armor protection. But the skill bonuses from this are amazing. And for fifty percent off I am buying that high-grade armor piece. That is beautiful. Although the protection and the look of it is very minimalistic. I'm kind of glad that I have the shirt. But, we came here for mer- um, yeah. We came here for mercs. Not for fancy armor. Although this is a nice bonus, I must admit. One can always rely on the mercenary guild. To prey upon the weakness of others. Today, however, I'm looking to hire some mercenaries to guard my outpost. Thousand cats per day, two day minimum, we get looting rights too. We'll go for four days. It's, you know, it's not ideal. Oh, build some storage is good. So I'd like them to do. I'm glad they did it. It's not ideal. They will get looting rights, but we can still beat them to the looting, assuming we're fast enough. And, you know, it costs a bit of money, but on the other hand, we do get people with, like, 30 skill. We get, like, six of them. And they'll, you know, hang around for, like, four days, then they'll leave. Assuming that they don't die. Uh, let's bankrupt the shop real quick. There we go. Beautiful. Check the wallet posters. I've been collecting these. Because it, you know flavor and stuff, but also just genuine interest in who's out there. I think we've got all of these by now. Food cube. Hmm. 75 nutrients, bread and green fruit, so we'd need bread and a bunch of green fruit, but we could make our own food cubes at some point. It's actually possible. And that would be cool. So that would make us money. And I like money. Now, I'm also wondering, why is the bartender in this bar missing? I think he might have died one day. And... He hasn't been replaced. Which is interesting. So there's no barman here. We could technically steal here. I'm not gonna do it, because I don't believe in the power of stealing. But yeah, everything here has gone unclaimed. 
Interesting. Most interesting. Oh well. Unfortunate for him. I remember him being on the ground with like minus 300 or 400 on his leg at some point, so I think, yeah, probably died. Bakery here is open, we can have a look for food. Well, you know, we're about to get murdered by the Holy Paladins. So maybe waiting around is not a good idea. Oh, there you are, sir. Still asleep? Hi there, customer! Yes, indeed, I'm looking to... Just having a look around here, really. I don't think the food prices really differ that much between towns. Which is a bit of a shame. Mm. How about leather? You like leather, right? There you go. We've actually made a nice profit by gathering up all the, uh, the stuff that we had. The leather. Oh, hello, hungry bandit leader. If I can, like, run in here and abduct him when he gets knocked out, I might be able to trigger a bounty being placed on him. And if I then give him to the Holy Nation, we can build up a bit of rep with him. Because that's about to go down immensely. I'll take that. Still committing a crime. That's fine, we'll pick him up. If we could trigger him to get a bounty. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you're captured target. Yeah, good luck. He's mine. <laughs> yeah, see, they're giving up on him. If we can get a bounty... Why did... Did they snatch him off my shoulders? They bloody snatched him off my shoulders. Hey, that's my bounty. God oh, damn it. Uh, there's no bounty on his head anyway. Fine, I guess they win. I guess it's not my bounty to collect after all. Bit rude though. Ooh, who's getting shot over here? Someone just took like a big hit. How about you? Can I get a bounty on you, maybe? Who's that? Oh, slave mongers! Great. I don't like slave mongers. I've got a bad history with them before the game launched of them just picking up my injured comrades and, you know, taking them into slavery. The usual stuff. You have a bounty on you? You don't. That's unfortunate. Well, not my problem, buddy. Good luck. You've got blueprints, banners and signs, already got that one. Yeah, it says research already known. Uh, advanced outposts. Large... Mm. I think that's a prerequisite to get some more things, but we don't need that. Letter's pretty cheap here. Eh. Little boy that got his map. Why does everyone have that book? It's a, it's a sad book. Oh well. Let's let's go and like get back and make sure the mercenaries get them. Ooh, corpse disposal! Yay! We can burn the bodies. And here's our new storages. We can put building materials and stuff in there. So it'll automatically like bring that from here to there. Great, cool stuff. I'm happy with that. Also these are nearly ready to go, but Let's get that, um, should be on the power corpse generator. Beautiful. Safe and efficient way to deal with corpses. Bodies to direct predators. Predators eat you. Mm-hmm. Eight iron plates, but we do have those. Exactly. There's a bone dog here. We could test it on the bone dog. As you do. Anyone manning the refinery? Technically, yes, but it's going so slow, might as well not bother. That's a shame. Would have liked to get the cooking stove up. You know, for science. Although, I guess we could just look at the battery charge here and see... No, the power here, rather. See if that goes up. 
Nearly there. Nearly there. Kaboom. Corpse furnace. Uh, pick up the bone dog. Make sure it's empty. Corpse disposal. Incinerating. That's not generating any power. That's a shame. You're gonna find me corpses. Is there more? Oh, there's a dead river raptor over there. How are you getting? Interesting. Well, thanks for the leather, buddy. And the food. The nomad animal trader there. Eh. Come on, do some course disposal for me. Yeah, for some reason I can't automate it. That's interesting. You used to be able to. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, we got harvest to do, buddy. Come on. There you go. Uh, Miu, you're not slacking on the job. We can't have that. Scabbard, stay hidden. Hobbs, you're gonna have to talk to these people because they're gonna complain. You know they are. Not the war party yet. It's too early for that. Get the holy flame out. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, six hours for the assault. That ain't good. Oh, well. We'll talk these guys down, you know. We'll wait for the assault to happen. We'll wait for the mercs to get here. And that's probably going to end the episode then, once that's done. Assuming we survive and all. I think we'll be fine. Once again, battle lines have been drawn. Except this time, it's not against the enemy we expected to be facing. But it is an enemy we'll have to face nonetheless. They'll be here any moment now. And it's going to be a rough fight. Even if we have like five, six mercenaries of skill 30 running around. Because we might have the numbers. It's true. But they have the quality of skill. Not the quality of equipment, mind you. But there is definitely a discrepancy there. Although only their actual paladins are going to be better than us. Only the paladins. Either way, I've gone and while I was in stack, I bought some more equipment. I bought a high-grade mast helmet, and I've given it to Rain, because, realistically, giving the Shek the best equipment is going to be our best bet for survival, because they have higher limb health. So it's going to take them longer to pass out. The trench coat was useless, so I gave her my old Driftless leather jacket, and I gave her Rain the, uh, the rusty chainmail of high quality. Also, high-grade samurai boots, and I've traded out my high-grade armored skirt as well. So I'm going to be wearing a medium one, a standard grade. Whereas Rain's going to be wearing the better one. I had these on me for... Quick simplicity, but... Well, a bit of strength training at the last moment. Didn't really get to do much, but that's fine. Uh, I've dressed Ruka up in the standard grade chainmail, as well as the armored rags. Also high-grade armored boots. Basically, we've armored people up as much as I can. And we're gonna see if that makes a difference. We've brought out the best weapons that we have, the best things. We've got our archers on the flank, ready to take pot shots at them. Unfortunately, due to the weapon they use and the decent grade of armor, they might not injure half of them badly, but that's gonna be fine. All right then. Let's see how this goes. I did tell Scabbard, by the way, to flee for the hills. Even though, you know, that's gonna lead to more Holy Nation people. 
The Inquisitorium has received reports of unholy beasts dwelling in this place. Yeah, probably the skeleton. Let's be honest, it's gonna be the skeleton. Your kind cannot stay here, Dark Ones. By the power of Okran, who guides my sword. Oh, we're gonna need to... Back you guys up. The further away they are, the less of a target they should be. I hereby remove the sinful parasites that have invaded our sanctified territory. We've got some mercs here. They'll be joining us at some point. Paladins at the ready! Attack! Oh dear, we've got one going for them. Uh, Daisy, I need you to jump in on him. If you can, like, distract him. Oh, there we go, see? Hits a four, hits a one. Hitting him in the armor, but we're hitting him regardless. Daisy, ooh, nice 81. Uh, we're not doing too well initially by the look of it, but that's a lot of green now. Some of them are already going down. I have also gone down. There we go. We are doing a number on them, actually. Dr. Chung running into combat to save fallen comrades. We're doing a pretty bloody good job of it, actually. Oh, also, I recruited Will's app as a sacrifice, really. But, you know, if she survives, she can help at the farm and things like that. If she doesn't survive, well, uh... But we're actually murdering them pretty badly. This is... Not as bad as I was afraid it would be. In come a bunch of high paladins. Oh no, they're gonna aggro as well, aren't they? This is bad. Yep, they are now aggroed as well. Great, great. Could you not have boggered off? Seriously. Go to hell. We need to stun lock that guy while he's swimming. Preferably. Oh no, he's just... Powering across now, it seems. That's cool. We've got him sort of stun locked, but you know, it's not doing anything to him. Because this guy's a high pilot and he's got the actual good gear. Alright, send them all to hell. Wherever that might be. Uh, Bard, you're the one in trouble. Yeah, you're getting attacked. Uh, he's being turned into a nice porcupine there. I'll give him that. <laughs> Decent stun locks, but it's doing no damage. Doing no damage. I don't like these jerks. Uh, someone lost a leg. It's gonna be one of us. Probably. We're not seeing any lost limbs, interestingly enough. Did we cut off one of their legs? Oh, yes, we did. But the good thing is, people seem to have mostly given up now. I think, yeah. It said we defeated them. Does that mean there's going to be more? Uh, three days, twelve hours. Right. Great. Fantastic. Are they just going around murdering all my people one by one? Yes, they are. Rain, what are you doing? Rain didn't even get much damage yet, which is ironic. Guys, just stay down, please. Let's just let them leave. Griffin, get out of that bloody river! What are you idiots doing? Trying to drown? Just stay down and... <sighs> Just let them go. Let them leave. Let them bugger off back to their own paladin. Seriously. Just... Stop. Being an idiot. Thank you. I don't seem to have bothered Dr. Chung, which is good. 
He's going to be able to save us at least. Uh, the, the mercenaries might be a problem. Yeah, the mercenaries are going to continue to fight. That's smart. That's brilliant. Please don't. Just let them leave so that we can survive. And then in a couple of days we'll have to dance this jig again. Nope, you're getting up because you're a goddamn idiot. Great. You shouldn't! Everyone's supposed to sneak now. There we go. Just stay down. Normally they are supposed to stay down if everyone goes down, but for some reason they're just not. And it's infuriating. Because they're throwing their lives away right now. Thank you. They're not going to loot us or anything. They just want us to die. I realize that doesn't sound much better, but... Even the alternative of death. Well, you know. I mean, they're not going to take our people away or anything, right? Oh, for God's sake. Really? Why'd you get up? Why'd you get up? Just don't get up, you bloody idiots. Just stay low. Like, seriously, admit defeat. See? I'll give the example. I will admit defeat. Meanwhile, Doc Chung's being allowed to run around unhindered because he's passive. It's kind of silly, but hey, if it works, he's getting a lot of medic practice out of this at least. Although he's going through med kits like, uh, well, like he's addicted to it. Just let them all leave, it's fine. No, you need to sneak as well. I think, no. Wow. You just went down without doing anything. Probably for the best, let's be honest. Are they... No, okay, that's young. I was gonna say, if they're bandaging... Why would they bandage me? Well, maybe they feel... Ooh. It's a good knock. <laughs> One of them went down. And Tasha went down. Yep, now people are getting up again. Great. I told you to stay down. I told you to stay sneaking, but you didn't listen. Pay the price. This is why we need to up our stealth skill more. So we'll actually stay down when I tell people to stay down. Rain, what the... Oh, you're getting food. You deserve to die at this point if you're get going out and getting food. When I'm telling you to stay down. Smart cookie. Just let him go. Just let him go. Yeah, we didn't lose any limbs. We didn't lose any lives. Granted, this is bad, but it's hardly unrecoverable. Hell. Quite a lot better than I thought it could have, you know. This could have gone a lot worse. We cut off one of their legs. We didn't lose anything ourselves. The only downside is we'll have to face this again in three and a half days. I'm not too stoked about it. Of course the bloody murkers are going to bugger off right when I need them most. Can we consider that a breach of contract and steal their stuff? I'm kind of inclined to at this point. That's because it's stealing, but honestly... Can you go? And never return? 
ye bastards. I'd be happy. On the plus, we did better than I expected. Did a lot better. Uh, I think you actually gained a strength level in combat. Oh, you know. It's good practice. Eh. Uh, I didn't really get to do anything, because I went down like a sack of potatoes immediately. Oh, uh, well. You live and you learn. Not every fight in Kenshi is going to be a victory. I tried to swing the odds in my favor, and then they pulled in another patrol, and the patrol aggroed immediately. They're cheating against my cheating. Uh, I could stealth knock him out. He's critical. I don't really care about him. He can go. All of these are going to... Oh, no. We killed one of them. Wow. <laughs> we are literally... <laughs> We're going to be growing crops with their blood. Oh, how poetic is that? Goodbye, little man. You okay? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. So don't be like me, folks. Don't get a skeleton because it's funny. And then proceed to get the Holy Nation to murder you. It's not recommended. On the plus side, assuming we keep surviving, it's gonna be one hell of a workout. 67 crossbow skill, you know, dexterity, perception, all getting up there. You as well. Bar's looking pretty good. 30 perception, that's actually high. That's good. Accuracy, range, shooting moving targets. Cool. I think we can safely say now that the danger has passed. Well, you know, you're dead. We rightfully get to loot you, I think. We can continue staying low, and I think it might... It does slowly contribute to our sneaking. Uh, Dr. Chung is putting people in bed, which is nice. Rain, what are you doing? Getting food. Why are you getting food, Rain? Why are we committing a crime? They're dead. They're dead. Go bother someone else. It's not a crime. We bled for that. They bled for that. We all bled for that. Come on. I'm gonna take your weapons. Don't even care that it's stealing. This one actually came pretty close to dying. Thank you for your contributions to our well-being. You jerks. Unfortunately, you can't ditch their bodies in the water and have them drown. That would be fun. Anyway, I'm going to pick up the pieces, and uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. It's a mess. I'm sorry about that, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes in Kenji. You get beat up. We'll try to have some walls in place for next time. That would be uh, very helpful. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Really helps the channel, and I really appreciate it. Until next time, have a good one, folks.